And welcome back, everyone, for week seven of the 2019 NFL season. Let me see. I went three and one with my picks last week. Not bad. We're getting trending in the right direction. Only my Vikings let me down, but I sense a four and O oh week this week. We're going to start you off with Billy B and his college picks. All right, what's up, everybody? Baby, back with you for NFL week number seven. Uh, college last week went two and two. Not great. Back at it again. First pick, I like Oregon, minus three. Oklahoma State, minus three. Coastal Carolina, plus seven. And Texas, minus 22. So there you have it for my college picks. Let's send it on over to Gio for his NFL picks. The first game we're going to look at has the Arizona Cardinals going to New York, where the Giants are three-point favorites at home. Cardinals have won two in a row. The Giants have lost two in a row. But when you look at the opposition, the Cardinals have played some struggling teams, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Atlanta Falcons, uh, the Giants have lost two, my Minnesota Vikings, and the New England Patriots. Ooh, they kept it close in that game uh, last Thursday, uh, at least before the half. And um, yeah, they're coming off the Thursday game, so they get the extra rest. Arizona's going to have to travel. It's going to be like a 10 o'clock game for them, uh, playing um, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The Giants are also getting healthy. Saquon Barkley is back. Thank you. Finally. I've got him in my fantasy team. I lost by one point last week. Barkley's back. Evan Ingram is back. Uh, you saw what Golden Tate did last week. He had come off the uh, suspension. So the um, offense for the New York Giants is going to be pretty well uh, firing on all eight cylinders. I think Sterling Shepard might be not playing, but there's going to be enough offense for the Giants to, I believe, cover this game. It's not a very big price to pay. So you know what? Let's lay those points. Let's lay. Let's take the New York Giants minus three. The second game we're going to look at has the Jacksonville Jaguars going to Cincinnati, where the poor Bengals are three and a half point dogs at home. The Bengals obviously have struggled all year. They're 0 six. Jacksonville, don't let their 2-4 and four record fool you. They've lost to some very good teams. They, they lost to the Chiefs in Week 1 when the Chiefs were healthy. They lost to, I believe, Houston, a very good team. Carolina was playing very well, and they lost to the New Orleans Saints, one of the best teams in the NFL right now. So that 2-4 and four record is, a, 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 you know, it doesn't tell you how good the Jacksonville Jaguars really are. Offensively, they're much better than Cincinnati, and that's still a good defense. You know, I, I worry about the hook, that, that three and a half. But so far, the hook hasn't really hurt us in, in this very strange year of uh, sports betting. Anytime I lay three and a half, I, I seem to win. So let's do that here. Let's lay the points. So let's take the Jacksonville Jaguars, minus three and a half. The third game we're going to look at has the Los Angeles Rams going to Atlanta, where the Falcons are three-point dogs at home. Wow, we've got a couple of teams that are really struggling. The Rams have lost three in a row. Maybe it's the Super Bowl hangover. I, I think the offense just, McVie needs just to uh, keep it simpler. I, I don't know what it is. All of a sudden, the Rams are struggling. The Falcons can score points. It's just the defense is terrible. Uh, if, if they play any bit of defense here, I think they have a chance. It's uh, another long flight for, for in this game um, from, coast, from one coast to another. Atlanta plays much better at home in the Dome, and they get the points. Uh, this should come down to a field goal at worst. I, I do think Atlanta has a chance to win this game, and you get the points. So you know what? Let's take the Atlanta Falcons plus three. And the fourth game we're going to look at has the New Orleans Saints going to Chicago, where the Bears are three-point favorites at home. Ooh, what, what a defensive struggle this is going to be. We know how good the Chicago Bears defense is, but you know what? The Saints are just as good on defense. They may not score as many points defensively as the Bears do, but that defense is playing lights out. The, uh, the secondary is very good. Lattimore might be the best defensive player in the league. Um, touchdown Teddy Bridgewater, one of my all-time favorite players, has just gold when it comes to betting against the spread. I think his record is something like 28-5. and five. Trubisky is back at quarterback for Chicago. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, I just don't think the Bears can muster enough offense. I know they're coming off the bye, but they didn't look very good against uh, Oakland Raiders. And uh, and the Saints are just plowing through this uh, part of the schedule without Drew Brees. I think 
they win this game and you get the points. So you know what? Let's take New Orleans Saints plus three. All right, and for my NFL picks this week, uh, last week with you know, 0 for, 0 for 4, not what I was looking for. My NFL picks have stunk this year, so you probably don't even care about them this week, so I'm just going to give them quick. Uh, I like the Indianapolis Colts minus one against Houston. Houston's coming off a big win against the Chiefs last week. Uh, maybe come down a little earth a little bit. Colts are coming off their bye. Uh, I think they'll be able to run the ball, control the clock, keep it away from... Um, Watson and the uh, offensive Texans, and I think they win this game, so take the Colts minus one. Next pick, I like the Washington Redskins plus 10 against the 49ers. 49ers are the darling of the NFL season this year undefeated. They got to travel across the country in a one o'clock game against Washington. Um, I just think that, I think the 49ers are going to win this game, but I just don't think it's going to be by more than 10. I think uh, the game is like a three or four point uh, game at the end, so I like the Washington Redskins plus 10. Next pick, I like the New York Jets, plus 10 against the Patriots. Patriots have had a, the easiest schedule in the history of schedules. Um, this will be a test for them in New York. Um, Sam Darnold brought a, a lot of energy to that team. I think Le'Veon Bell will get going, and I just think this is going to be a very close game. Um, Jets have a lot to prove, and they are um, a desperate team. So take the Jets, plus 10. And then my last pick, I like the Green Bay Packers, minus 5.5 against the Raiders. Uh, Packers pulled out um, a d disgruntled victory against the Lions last week. Uh, everybody's talking about it. I think they just come out this week and just smash the Raiders um, just to show how good they are. Um, the Raiders are a 3-2 and two team, but I you know, I don't think they're that good of a team. So take the Packers minus 5.5. So there you have it from NFL Picks. Good luck, and let's win some money this week. And congratulations to Garrett Horton. Yes, Garrett, you're the winner of our contest from last week. You win the Green Bay Packers beanie. Well done, sir. All you have to do is send me your information, and uh, I'll send this out to you as quickly as I can. For this week's contest, any Pittsburgh Steelers fans, we're going to send away this Pittsburgh Steelers beanie. All you have to do is in the description below, write down hashtag, let's take them as money, LTTMM. Good luck. Okay, here's our Let's Take the Man's Money Parlay play and our six-game, six-point teaser play. For the parlay, we'll take the New York Giants minus three, Jacksonville Jaguars minus three and a half, Atlanta plus three. We'll take New Orleans on the money line. We'll add in Green Bay on the money line. They're at home to Oakland. They're always tough at Lambeau. And we'll take Seattle on the money line. They're at home to Baltimore. A $25 bet will get us $1,014.53. And for the teaser play, we'll take the New York Giants plus three, Jacksonville plus two and a half, Atlanta plus nine, New Orleans plus nine, Green Bay plus half a point, and Seattle plus three. A $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck. Okay, and those are our picks. Good luck to you. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, share this video if you can, and make sure you leave your, the, uh, the hashtag for the contest below. All right, for my good friend Billy B, I am Gio. Let's take the man's money. <laughs>